Hi, I'm Hanny Mora. Welcome to EasyTechTips.com. Today I'm going to introduce you to a new service called Animoto. It takes your photos and your music and it puts them together to make an amazing video presentation. Similar to a photo slideshow, but a lot cooler. The first thing we're going to do is walk you through the sign up process to create your account. Enter your email address, enter your password, first name, last name, the country that you're from, and the postal code. Then a few other questions about yourself, like your gender and your date of birth. And the reason for the date of birth is they just want to verify you're over the age of 13. Accept the terms and conditions. Enter the capture word just to make sure you're a human, not a robot. And hit sign up and your account is instantly created. Now that we've created an account, let's go ahead and sign in. So we're using the same email we created and the password we created earlier. We're going to sign right into our account. The first thing you notice is that it tells you that you have no videos. So let's go ahead and create our first one. First you choose a type of video you want to make, either a 30 second short or a full length. Then you specify where you get your images, whether you retrieve them from an online photo site like Facebook or Flickr or you upload your own. And it gives you a nice hint here. You can select multiple files at a time when you upload from your own computer. So I'm going to go to my hard drive, go to my pictures, choose the first file, hold shift and click the last file and hit select. Now it's going to upload all the files, all 11 files that I chose. It takes a bit of time depending on the size of files that you have. So I'm just going to jump ahead to the last file here just for the video's sake. Once it's all done, it's going to show you a preview of all the images. At this point, you can add more photos, you can rotate photos if necessary, and you can select one or more photos and call them your spotlight. And what this does is that it puts more emphasis on those photos in your final video. Hit the continue button. So now we choose our music. We can either select it from their collection or upload it from our own computer. I'm just going to choose one from their collection. I'm going to choose electronica music because I like that. I can preview a song by hitting the play button. But for the demo, I'm just going to select the first one. Now it shows me a summary of the soundtrack, the title and artist. It gives me a chance to preview it again. I'm happy with it. I'm just going to go ahead and save and continue. Now here where I, where I spice up my video, give it a nice fancy title and a very brief description to tell people what my video is all about. And once I hit the create video button, we're all done. Here's where all the magic happens. It's analyzing your images, analyzing your music, and putting it together to create your final video. This step took me about three minutes. Once it's done, the, a preview button will come up. You can watch the video and you also have a few options here. You can remix it. What that means is uh, replace the soundtrack with another one, add more photos, etc. You can send the copy to your friends by putting their email address and it will send them a link directly to watch your video. You can also post it online either to your blog or to any website. It's really easy. All you need to do is copy this code they provide you and paste it into your website and your video will appear right away. You can download it so you can view it on your computer. You also have the option to export it to YouTube. And finally, they give you an option to upgrade to DVD quality. Here you can have them mail you the DVD. It takes about three to four days for $20. Or for $5, you can download the high-res, high-quality, DVD-quality version of the video. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use Animoto, the photo slideshow replacement. For more easy step-by-step -step internet tutorials, please visit www.easytechtips.com.